Valerie. Today I have a super duper interesting and like experience filled book that has a lot of lessons incorporated into it. Read with Val. Read on, have fun, and dream big. This book is Dreams for My Father by Barack Obama. It is a memoir of Barack Obama's childhood and into his like young adult stage. And this is adapted for young adult readers. So yeah, this book, like I said before, is about Barack Obama's childhood. And in the beginning, um, it talks about his life as a kid and how it was pretty tough. Um, Brock's dad left Brock and his mom when um, he was very young. And then Barack Obama and his mom moved to Hawaii to live with um, his grandparents. And there he spent a lot of, I mean, wonderful memories in Hawaii. And soon, but soon that sort of all faded because Brock was going to live with um, his mom's like new like, boyfriend and in Indonesia and like they got married. And so then Brock spent some of like years some years and um in indonesia and again they divorced so brock moved back to the u.s and whew, that's sort of like a very like they moved a lot of course and so in hawaii everything was you know happy um family there there was family there um and they made a lot of like wonderful memories. And in Indonesia, Brock was, I mean, he was looking forward to, go to going to Indonesia, but he found out that it was like quite different from Hawaii because there were a lot of people that were in poverty, um, a lot of people who were poor, and um, that, that sort of like struck him, I guess, as like, wow, like, there are people who like need help. And um, he, I guess he carried like his thoughts back to the US after his mom divorced. And then he began to think about what he wanted to do in life because he was like starting to mature more and um, starting to go into like the very, very, very early stages of his adulthood now fast forward he has moved from indonesia to back to the u.s and he faces the challenges of his high school and his college experiences not only because i mean high school and college is like tough enough for a lot of people because you have a lot to keep track of not i'm not saying that from experience but okay yeah so but also because brock is a obviously an African American, uh, an African American person. And I mean, there was a lot of segregation and racism back then, as we like all know. Um, so I'm gonna read a little part of this, of the back. Um, it's the second paragraph. It says, on the surface, things were going well enough. I was doing the things American kids do. I took a part-time job at a fast food restaurant. There were some mediocre report cards and a few calls to the principal. I dealt with acne, learned to drive, and thought a lot about girls. I made my share of friends at school and went on occasional awkward dates. Sometimes I puzzled over the change in my classmates' status. Some rose in popularity while others fell, depending on how they looked or the make of their cars. I watched from the sidelines, relieved that my position steadily improved. But all the while, I was struggling inside. I was trying to raise myself to be a black man in America. And no one around me seemed to know exactly what that meant. 
so I mean that just like that shows how difficult things were if you were a person of color if you were different um back then but he didn't manage and um he went to college he took law school and he moved to new york where he lived for a while and then he moved again to chicago and it's like the south side of chicago and he becomes he's like out of college right and he becomes a, like a community organizer uh at chicago at chicago to help people of color and basically their situations and their problems there's a lot of gang violence um there and it's it's very violent and also there's like poverty and a lot of people are poor they are lacking self-care i guess and basically brock helps them and um he becomes like an organizer and an important part of his community in that way and but now we get to like the the big part, the important part, which is he goes to Kenya for the first time. And um, his father's roots were are traced back to Kenya. His father was born in Kenya and Brock, even though he wasn't born there, he always had like dreamed of going to Kenya because it's, in, it's like where his family was from, is from. And basically, he goes to Kenya for the first time, and I mean, it's a mind-blowing experience. He meets so much family, he learns a lot of things, and he, like, he feels like a connection with his, like, father, even though he died. Um, it, like, he feels like a connection because Kenya was the place that, like, his father was, and I mean, it's just wonderful how, like, it's, like, mind-blowing how one experience can, like, open your eyes up and, like, you actually, like, realize what is, what's important and what's, like, right in front of you. Um, so, he goes to Kenya. He has that wonderful experience. And, yeah. And you'll have to read this book to find out what happens in Kenya that opened Brock's eyes up. Um, I recommend this book to kids between the ages 11 and up. Um, this book is, it says, adapted for young adult readers. And um, I'm in, like, I'm in, I'm 11. So I'm not exactly young adult. But um, I still really enjoyed this book. I think, um, I think it's a great book for middle grade readers and young adult readers who um want to learn more about Barack Obama's life and yeah so I hope everyone enjoys this book as much as I did remember to read on have fun and dream big I'll see you guys later bye